police officer in Virginia has a new crime fighting partner, but she isn't your typical buddy cop. Nope. Officer Timothy Rugg recently got a call to help a kitten that had been thrown out of a car. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> It's a kitten. Oh my God, it's kittens. Oh my God, it's kittens. I love cats. Um, I love every kind of cat. Sorry, I just. Officer Rock says cats. he just couldn't let her go. I'll visit her chocolate. Oh, that's crazy. It's no doubt that people love cats, and the massive popularity of kitten content online is a clear indicator of that. However, there's a huge sector of the cat population that is consistently overlooked. Uh, my name is Ryan Shea. I have been a nurse for like 10 or 12 years now. When my cat died, a few years back in 2017 is when I started the Shabby Tabby Cat Cafe. So the reason why I started it is because my cat died and I started volunteering with a rescue. And I went to a bunch of different shelters and I saw how many cats there were that needed home. So that's what really got me into this. And I thought that a cat cafe would be a good way to like help them get homes and showcase the cats instead of being in cages and shelters. Well, I've been an animal lover forever. I've always had cats my whole life and dogs. Um, I started working with them around 2017. Um, so we do take a lot of seniors and disabled cats here. Uh, we feel, you know, all of our staff and, and me especially, we feel that they, it's nice to see them get into a home that understands them and their like little special needs and, and especially for the seniors, it's like their last chapter in life. So to see them so loved in a home and, and how they, you know, how all, their, all their progress at home and they just kind of like blossom once they get into a family, it's just like the most amazing thing. Um, so I wasn't always a senior cat lover. A lot of people overlook them and I probably did too, but my first senior cat I adopted, I went in looking for a kitten and they showed me this 10 year old named Ollie and I adopted her, just, I just loved her right away. And ever since then, they just like have a different energy around them. Their personality just gets better and better. It's almost like they know that you're saving them. They have like a special soul, I guess. Just something about the seniors, they're really special. Um, right now we have a lot of seniors because there was a huge hoarding house um, out in Queens recently and they had all seniors. So we ended up taking 11 of them. Here they're all like 10 and up. They don't know their actual ages. Um, we have Aurora right now, Artichoke. We have Agnes, Norman is one of them, Arthur. We have a significant amount of seniors right now, and there's even other ones that are not from that house that we have that are just as amazing. And cats that have had the most impact on me, there's been so many, like the seniors are just so special and they're all just so different. Um, but we had one cat, Mushi, who she was in a really bad situation. Her owner had died and they found the cats after the fact and they were all like terribly matted and just like horribly, like really sick and some of them died. But Moshi was this like little tiny old lady and we got her and she had really long hair, super matted. And then after, you know, bringing her to the groomer and getting her medically healthy, she got adopted into the greatest family and she was like the queen of the household. She recently passed away, but she just had like the best 
last year, I think a year, year and a half with that family. And it was just so great to see how she started. She was like terrified. She even got adopted and was returned for being so scared. And then this amazing family came and gave her a chance and she did great. People are afraid to adopt the special needs and seniors because mostly I'm finding that they're afraid of the vet cost. But I've had so many senior cats over the years, either at home or here, and they're perfectly healthy. And it, just because they're a senior does not mean they're going to cost you more. And just because they have special needs also doesn't mean that just because they're a senior or have like a medical disability doesn't mean they're going to be extra costs. Also, people are afraid to adopt seniors because they don't want to love them so much and then they lose them, which I understand. But like just the just the time having them and the joy they give you and like the bond you form is so much. I, I personally feel like it, it's so worth it. Kittens are adorable. But they're a lot of energy, which is cute and it's fun to play with them. But we've had kittens return to us because they're up all night or, you know, they're they're too much energy or they, you know, they'll if you adopt a single kitten a lot of times, like it it's a it's sad and it's meowing all night, it wants a friend, so then you have to get two. It just the seniors are are chill, they're calm. Some of them even play if you really want someone that plays. Like we have Norman, he runs around like a crazy person. Adopting a kitten also, you don't know what you're getting. So despite like the high energy and the bitey and the knocking everything down, you don't know what you're getting. So you can adopt a kitten who's super cuddly, but you know, in a year when they grow out of that cuddly phase, they could, they could be a totally different cat. So I like to adopt the adults and the seniors because you know what you're getting, you know their personality, they're not, they're not gonna change. Also, if you're worried about medical expenses, we've had so many more medical expenses with kitten. But you don't know, like I said, you don't know what you're getting. So when you have the adult, they've kind of, you know, gone through all that. The kittens get sick so easily. <laughs> they're like fragile little things and we love them, but they're a lot. There are a lot in a lot of different ways. You can, if you're very nervous about adopting a senior or a special needs animal, talk to the, if you fall in love and you want to give it a shot, like talk to me or talk to the head of the shelter or the rescue. A lot of places do fostering and like forever fostering. And if you want to just like, you know, take that cat in and you don't have to worry about the medical bills and you don't have to worry about, you know, the stuff that is making you not adopt them just yeah. just to have the cat in a home like i would let any of these senior cats be fostered just so they have a home uh, our instagram is the shabby tabby li um, on facebook we're the shabby tabby cat cafe we do have a youtube channel that we try to keep up um, that's just the shabby tabby i'd say just go for it because there's no love quite like a senior or you know the, the disabled cat mm -hmm.